welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Lipakshi Khurana. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 14th of March. India to begin COVID-19 vaccination for 12 to 14 age group from March 16th. Prime Minister Imran Khan says entered politics to make Pakistani people a great nation. And people dance to tunes as holy celebrations begin in India's Vrindavan. And now for all the details, India will begin COVID-19 vaccination for children between 12 to 14 age group from March 16th, the country's health minister, Mansuk Mandavia, said on Monday. This comes as most schools have reopened across the South Asian nation adhering to protocols amid a significant fall in the cases. India on Monday recorded 2,503 new COVID-19, the lowest single day rise in 680 days. India will start administering COVID-19 vaccinations to 12 to 14-year-olds from March 16, the country's health minister Mansuk Mandavia said on Monday. The health ministry in a statement said children in the 12 to 14 age group would be inoculated using biological E-limited Scorbivax vaccine, which received an emergency use approval in February for 12 to 18-year-olds. This comes as India's third wave of COVID-19 cases driven by the Omicron variant has receded, with the country reporting 2,503 infections on Monday, compared to more than 300,000 in late January. Amid the significant decline in cases, most schools have reopened across the country. On Monday, authorities in the Union Territory of Puducherry also allowed offline classes for kindergarten children after a gap of two years due to the pandemic. Today, we invite our KG children uh, in a grand manner. After the pandemic period, they come to school. Uh, we, we are uh, very eager to uh, invite them. According to government figures, more than 90 million teenagers aged between 15 to 17 have been inoculated, mainly using Bharat Biotech's homegrown shot Covaxin. The government also decided to remove the condition of comorbidity for people above 60 years to receive a booster shot. And in news from Pakistan, Prime Minister Imran Khan at a political rally on Sunday maintained that his main objective of joining politics was to make Pakistani people a great nation, not to check the prices of daily commodities. In a hard-hitting speech, he said it was the responsibility of the state and judiciary to stop the corrupt and convicted politicians who he claimed were trying to topple his government through horse trading. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan delivered a heart-hitting speech at a political gathering in Hafizabad city on Sunday. Khan said he had entered politics with the objective to build a nation rather than just striving to know the prices of daily commodities. His objective, he added, was to make the nation, particularly the young generation, realize the real ideology of Pakistan as propounded by Alama Muhammad Iqbal. <laughs> کہ عمران خان کو سیاست میں آنے کی ضرورت کیا تھی پچیس سال پہلے اللہ عمران خان کو سب کچھ دے چکا تھا جو بھی میں زندگی میں چاہتا تھا اللہ وہ دے چکا تھا میں صرف ایک وجہ سے آیا تھا اور میں نوجوان ہوں آپ کے لیے کیونکہ آپ اس ملک کا مستقبل ہیں Imran Khan said that it was the responsibility of the state and judiciary to stop the corrupt and convicted politicians who he claimed were trying to topple his government through horse trading. His remarks came in the wake of the no-confidence motion moved last week by the opposition, seeking to ouster his premiership, pinning its hope for its success on the estranged members of the ruling party and its allies. The opposition is holding negotiations with three allied parties of ruling Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf party, PMLQ, BAP, and the MQMP, in order to pass a no confidence motion. While the opposition has 162 lawmakers in the lower house of the parliament, the ruling coalition now has 179 lawmakers in favour. To pass the no trust motion, the opposition needs the backing of 172 lawmakers. The National Assembly currently has a total membership of 341 members with one seat empty. 
On Sunday, 84 lawmakers of opposition Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz attended a dinner organized by the party president Shahbaz Sharif and gave the full mandate to the party leadership to take any decision related to the no trust motion against Imran Khan. And moving on, Raja Farooq Haider Khan, the former Prime Minister of Pakistan administered Kashmir, has said that Islamabad is not serious about development in the illegally occupied region as it has failed to provide enough funds over the years to reconstruct even the basic infrastructure damaged in the 2005 earthquake. He said while Pakistan government makes big claims, no groundwork has been done so far. Raja Farooq Haider Khan, the former Prime Minister of Pakistan, administered Kashmir, has raised concern over government's apathy to provide enough funds to reconstruct schools and other basic infrastructure damaged in the 2005 deadly earthquake in the illegally occupied region. It has been over 16 years that the natural calamity hit the illegally occupied region, but successive governments have only made big claims, but no groundwork has been done. Khan, a senior leader of opposition PMLN, said if Pakistan government is really serious about the region, then it should reflect in the form of development. Raja Farooq Haider Khan also raised concern that Pakistan administered Kashmir houses multiple hydropower projects, but people in the region are not getting adequate electricity despite paying hefty bills and are forced to felling trees to meet their needs. Locals have long blamed they have been at the receiving end of the discriminatory policies of Islamabad that has failed to provide even basic facilities to them. At the Antalya Diplomacy Forum in Turkey over the weekend, Afghanistan's acting minister of foreign affairs, Amir Khan Muttaki, stressed that a foreign version of government must not be imposed on Afghanistan. Afghans are capable of forming their own government and efforts are underway to make the Kabul more inclusive, he said. Afghanistan's acting minister of foreign affairs, Amir Khan Mutaki, has said that a foreign-style government must not be imposed on Afghanistan and Afghans are capable of forming their government. Speaking at the Antalya Diplomacy Forum in Turkey on Saturday, Mutaki said efforts are underway to increase inclusivity in the government. The Turkish foreign ministry had invited Mutaki and his accompanying delegation to the forum. According to the foreign minister, the Islamic Emirate has been attempting to rescue the Afghan economy and there have been several areas of progress, including government, actions to prevent economic collapse. Muttaki once again stressed that the Islamic Emirate has met all conditions for international recognition, then why it is not being recognized, he questioned. The Taliban authorities lack international recognition months after overrunning Kabul last August as the last U.S.-led international troops departed, ending 20 years of war. The country has been in economic crisis after donors cut financial aid constituting more than 70% of government expenditures and about $9 billion in Afghan Central Bank assets were frozen. Many Taliban leaders remain under U.S. and U.N. sanctions. Meanwhile, on the sidelines of the forum, the Afghan delegation met several foreign officials and counterparts. On Sunday, Muttaki met Uzbek counterpart Abdulaziz Kamilo. The meeting focused on trade and economic relations between two neighboring countries as well as future enhanced relations between Afghanistan and Central Asia. And a mass wedding ceremony was held recently in Lashkar Gaon, the capital of Afghanistan's southern Helmand province. Funded by local charity foundation, as many as 110 couples exchanged vows during the ceremony. Vehicles decorated with flowers were seen riding down the roads as scores of family members of the brides and grooms were brought to the event. The newly wed couples were also gifted with washing machines and other household necessities. Amid the ongoing economic crisis since the Taliban took over last August, 
Trust. Events like these are helping the young and poor Afghan couples to cut down lavish expenses on traditional Afghan wedding parties. One of the organizers said their sole purpose is to make weddings affordable for young Afghans as they struggle amid the financial crisis. The charity group has helped around 2,500 such couples over the past many years. اقتصادی وضعیت د بدیدو د اقتصادی بحران د بی روزګاری پر ضد باندې مبارزه شروع کړې ده الحمدلله د لکه څنګه چې د افغانستان په نور ولایتو کې ډلیز ودونه په امپیراتي او ډلیز توګه باندې ولو نن دلی او مهربان الله جل جلال و خلق مرحمت و شفقات په شکل علمنت کې د یو سل لس جوړو بی وزلو او مستحق و جوانانو د ډلیز وده ویار او افتخار لرو and Nepal's largest architecture and construction exhibition, the BuiltCon International Expo in capital Kathmandu, attracted scores of businesses and investors over the past weekend. Focused on showcasing advanced construction technologies, the event also saw an outpouring participation of Indian companies. Nepal's largest international expo on architecture, buildings, construction, design and engineering, the Nepal Build Con International Expo held over the past weekend in capital Kathmandu brought together various businesses and investors. The seventh edition of the expo showcased advanced technologies in Nepal's growing construction sector. The event was organized after a gap of two years due to COVID-19 pandemic and also saw an outpouring participation of Indian companies which gave detailed demonstration of latest products and services. This exhibition is very helpful for explore our business in Nepal. Uh, I see lots of opportunities there. And here I see that many of the thermoplastic countries are developing countries. डेवलपिंग कंट्री नेपाल है यहाँ पे बहुत सारे जो हैं वो रोड मार्किंग के काम हो रहे हैं तो हमारा जो पेंट है यहाँ पे वो काफी हम लोग अपने बिजनेस को बढ़ा सकते हैं ठीक है हमारा जो मटेरियल जो लॉट्स ऑफ टाइप ऑफ मटेरियल भी अवेलेबल एंड डिलीवर इन नेपाल ओके तो ये एक्सिबिशन के थ्रू हम लोग देख रहे हैं कि हमारा जो बिजनेस है वो काफ़ी बढ़े कस्टमर भी हमारे पास ऐसे आए हैं जो देख रहे हैं कि हाँ हमारा कंपनी जो है यहाँ पे मटेरियल डिलीवर कर सकता है। The good time for that, we are doing all of the semi government and Nepal government work also we are doing, and the scenario is totally now is a change for that India and Nepal. The main highlights of the exhibition were construction materials, machinery, and architectural hardware, amongst others. The expo gave the participants and visitors opportunity to exhibit, exchange and invest with a focus on shared responsibilities in national development. And marking the commencement of Holi, the Festival of Colors, thousands of devotees on Monday thronged Vrindavan, a holy town in India's northern Uttar Pradesh state, and daubed each other with festive colors and danced to the tunes of religious hymns. The festival, mainly celebrated in India and Nepal, marks the beginning of spring and symbolizes new beginnings. Thousands of devotees throng the famous Bangke Bihari temple in India's holy Vrindavan town on Monday as they observed Rangbari Ekadashi that symbolizes the advent of festival of colors holy. The devotees smeared each other with colors as they began the celebrations of holy that marks the love between Hindu Lord Krishna and his beloved Radha. It is a belief that the devotees who celebrate holy at the temple are blessed with happiness and prosperity. हम यहाँ होली के दो साल से लॉकडाउन दो साल के बीच लॉकडाउन में हम आ नहीं पाए होली देखने यहाँ की होली बहुत अच्छी बनती है यहाँ एक महीने से पहले स्टार्ट होता था होली होली का त्यौहार डेविडीज वर आल्सो सीन डांसिंग इंटरेस्टिकली एट द द्वारिका दीश टेंपल इन मथुरा टाउन एस दे थ्रू कलर्ड पाउडर एंड व the festival, mainly celebrated in India and Nepal, also marks the beginning of spring. The actual event of Holi will be observed on March 18. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.
सब्सक्राइब टैग टीवी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द नोटिफिकेशन बटन